man. This this is going to be this is this this is a show to behold, man. I say it's a show to behold. Amen. Amen. Can the church hear me? I said this is a show to behold. Amen. <laughs> 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 well, the, the, the audience is excited because of my two guests that are coming in. Very fascinating guest, and um, I think the first time I'm doing a show and I'm featuring siblings. This is a very, very, very famous brother and sister, or sister and brother, either way, they are both here, and uh, we're going to have fun with them. The first one I'm going to introduce, I'm starting with the ladies. Put your hands together, show some love for Deborah Vanessa. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank Please you. have a seat. All right, I won't even sit down. And, and since she's in, you probably know the other half man, uh, the other sibling, not, not half or sibling. Put your hands together, folks. Welcome. Should I say the famous or infamous, controversial or incontroversial, Wano Kubolo! <laughs> There you go. There, there. All right. Whoa, no. <laughs> Whoa. Well, they are in the house, man. One love and Deborah, man. In the house. And they're happy. Giddy, 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 giddy. So let's take a commercial break. When we come back, let's get busy. We're just getting started. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Well, it's good to have you. The two of you are so controversial. Do you know? Do, 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 is that a, a, an appropriate description? And, uh, oh, I don't know. We just we are just ourselves. But you attract a lot of attention being yourself. <laughs> well, of why? I, we just say things plain plain, and you know it's not really a quarter to say things plain plain. You're boo benny a day. You're fakones. You're fa. Anything I am pay n one or die. Taxi drivers. I'm not joking. I'm far lungu lungu. I'm far from far n one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <for> speed. <laughs> you put it one straight. Yeah. 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 Straightforward. No straight wasting forward. time. Yeah. No beating around the bush. But obviously, there's a limit to everything. Mm. Not saying something to hurt or disrespect someone, mm -hmm. but just saying the truth and, you know, being plain about it. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has there been any truth that you have told that you think was misinterpreted or. Oh, many a time. Usually. I say things that people don't expect because they already have their perception of me. They have an idea of how I'm supposed to be. Mm. The other day I was on a TV show and the lady, the lady presenter asked me if I could date someone who took home 80 Ghana CDs. Mm -hmm. And I said yes because I go for the personality. And obviously she was looking at me like, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, this girl, pa, you slack, or like, really, really personality. And then there was another lady there, a foreigner, who was like, oh, okay, so if he's ambitious, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's not even about that, but I just go for personality. So your income doesn't really matter. That's not what I look at first. But then, headlines on websites all over the place, people started insulting me. Who do you think you are that you cannot date someone? No, that you said you cannot date someone who takes home 800 Ghana. Oh, so I, everything I had been, it. Everything but so it was completely reverse? Complete reverse. So no matter what you say, they have already pictured you a certain way. Really? Yes. And I, um, I mean, the people that I've dated are usually young people. I don't date older people. And then I have friends, maybe makeup artists, stylists, who say things like what girls are saying, you know, on the streets. That, ah, this fair girl, pan, she's wasting her color. She's wasting hey. her looks. <laughs> hey, like, ah. Really? Yes, why is she dating small boys? Ah, like, I'm wasting my resources. So, I hear things like but that. And people just misinterpret me or, like, have the, the wrong the, 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 You are wasting your color. So we, we are fine <laughs> to, do, to be going... Yes, but people have a wrong impression. No, not not impression. Perception. Perception. Uh -huh. So they've already. So this this AT thing, I also heard. I think I read about it that uh, yeah. you said you wouldn't date anybody, yes. but you, you, it was actually the real. But they did you that deliberately. They couldn't have. That's what I'm. I don't think it was deliberate. I think no matter what. Sometimes before you say something, someone, maybe that's what they would do. 
Mm. I, that's what yeah. I think. Because they, they expect me, mm. they ex the way I look and things, they expect me to rather date maybe a rich old man. Because that's the norm of the day now. Oh, really? It is. You don't know, boy. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You two, what, what have they misquoted you, I'm sure, many times? Uh, which which I, was the, I think your it's favorite? my fault, you know? Because... I, I use too much sarcasm sometimes. And so I remember saying once that, you know, I, I wasn't proud of my father being um, a poor pastor. When I say poor pastor, I mean a pastor that doesn't collect people's money and get rich off people. Okay. And I wish he was the kind of pastor that would chop people's money. Okay. And... The, whole, the news that came out is just, I'm ashamed of my father. But wow. I was joking about yes, it. I just wanted yes, to yes. bring You're out, making a point. Yeah, I was making a point. Yeah. You know, I'm actually a, proud of yeah. the kind of person my father is. Yeah. He listens to people's problems, and he uses his resources and connections to help them out. Yeah. Whereas other people just say, pay me, I'll pray for yeah. you. If it doesn't work, come and pay me, I'll keep praying for you. Yeah. One day, maybe to pick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so... So, that kind of so, worried me. So you, you, so you were saying it sarcastically. Sarcastically. Yeah. That, yeah. oh, your father, they are not proud of him crying. Yeah. He's not chopping people's uh, money. And they, they reversed it. They just, they just took it like direct, like yeah. it was a literal yeah. thing. You yeah. know, so. Are you worried about uh, pastors uh, chopping money? And I, I feel it's, you know, you know, people used to, people used to care more about what was happening around them. Like somebody will leave their house on the way to church and they will see somebody in mm. need and they will help the person out. Mm. Mm. But now somebody's thinking, hey, this amount I have, I have to go and give it at church. So I can't help this person. You know? And whereas if you look into the word, it says those are the kind of people you need to help, people that are in need. Because maybe your pastor won't meet this very person and give them some of the money you are giving him or her. So those things have, have changed where we've become very individualistic and very selfish. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we are now, when we go, sorry, when, when we go to church now to pray, we pray for riches yeah. instead of praying for, let me, to end corruption yeah. or praying to, yeah, to pr end corruption or praying to, like, for people to be more aware of the environment mm -hmm. and plastic mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. on. And so because we want to get money where now we can partake in the corruption or have enough money to build somewhere where we won't see plastic around us, you know, so we are becoming less caring about our environment and just... That, 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 does it bother you that you are not understood? That, oh, that, that's, that's their problem. Yeah, but you, as a human being, um, you know, you, somebody like, let's say, Fela or Bob or all these guys, I feel like they passed on with some anger in them because they were trying to fight for something which people didn't care about. So I'm going past that point where now I'm just thinking about myself and my immediate environment so that I'm not stressed by the mm. outside world. Put your hands together for one more. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to back to you, but you know, this, this, this is, uh, you know, here you are, one of you, I have your t-shirt. It's actually a Muhammad t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt. Yeah, and so I was eating some guinea fowl and the juice <laughs> spilled on it. <laughs> so it was stained by the guinea yeah, fowl and that's how it looks like. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Burkina juice. <laughs> uh, do you, but this, this is Ghana. Do, yeah. do, you, do you get questions? I just get laughs. You get laughs? Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of people would see me wearing this and laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, now we get we get it, you know, because the Onapo song was kind of like that. That was that and was, it was a phenomenon that yeah, people that were massive. actually dancing yes. to a song that was for him. You know, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you 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 look very cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess maybe I just, I've just met you on social media, so I would you know on social media is like a high fly, you know. It's like, <laughs> You know. Yeah, one time I was at I was at a restaurant having yeah. a meal and the waiter kept staring at me and said, Ah, sorry, can I ask you a question? Are you the Uncle Obama lady? Yeah. I'm like, What do you mean? Oh, are you the girl who sang Uncle? I'm like, Yes. Ah, but how come you are so quiet and yeah. comported? Yeah. I said, Oh, do you want me to start some assaulting and jumping? <laughs> <on>? <laughs> <laughs> I usually just calm. Yeah, usually calm. Mm -hmm. Obama, Obama banana. <laughs> oh, that should I brought that up? <laughs> 
<laughs> what is that? What's the name of the, the, the song? What? It's Uncle Obama. Uncle Obama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And um, show some light. Show, you show some light. <laughs> did he? Did he hear it? Oh, he probably did. He probably a high did. probability. Yeah, because yes. he was on CNN, you know. Yeah. Just before the primary, yes. and a couple of stations yeah. too. So. Yeah. Somebody did, must have played it to him. Mm. At some point. Mm. Did you think you would get that far? Mm. No, I didn't expect it at all. Mm. I didn't expect it to go that far. And then, the, the, well, the, the, the rumor about you now is uh, you, you're dating chemical, uh, medical. I won't say chemical. I like you didn't say chemical. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a rumor. Is it? It's not a rumor. Oh, oh, that, oh it's, it's a sperm. I've yes. even seen them kissing. You are lying. You've seen them kissing? Oh, no. Really? Where? 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 He's lying. Where were they? They didn't know you were watching. Oh, gosh. Aguba. Oh, Aguba. no. <laughs> I was like, hey, one love will see. One love will see. <laughs> That's very you did see. Uh, so why are they presenting like a rumor? Like, uh, but it's a done deal? <laughs> not, not done deal in terms of uh, marriage or anything, but oh, I mean, okay. it's, uh, it's official. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like, people won't expect you to say the truth or say it, but... So they will say it's a rumor. Mm. But people wish it to be a rumor because they want their chance. Mm. The girls want medical and the guys to want Star Debra. So they will say they, will, they are lying to themselves that it's a rumor. It's a rumor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They are still ah. in denial. <laughs> <laughs> some are here. Some are here. <laughs> they are still in denial. So they are still in denial. Um, yeah, fans keep writing to me and even people around me that I work with and stuff say, oh, but people think you are medical. It's a contract too. I say, hey, and yeah. they said, hey, Chris Waddle has given you like $20,000. I'm like, hey, I wish, I wish. <laughs> That's what they're saying. That's what people think, yes. So I just say things like, hey, then this contract is long, pal. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. I don't think it's serious. Because at the end of the day, you're not dating for somebody. You have to focus on the relationship and make sure everything, you know, is fine, not mm -hmm. what people mm -hmm. are thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you feel about your brother, man? Oh, who are those laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Who are they laughing? <laughs> well, he, I'm very proud of him because I look up to him a lot. He's very intelligent, very creative, ex especially. Um, I said especially. Oh, <laughs> the bribe you paid, it will reach more than five adjectives. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's very creative. Like, um, he helps me a lot with the mm. music, mm. my video concepts, and everything he does or creates is original. Yeah. There's no copy from anywhere. Obviously, we get inspired by mm -hmm. other videos, mm -hmm. but there's nothing copied. Mm. Yes, and um, he's very kind, very caring. Even if he has his last 10 Ghana, he will give it to his friend. You understand? And then, um, yeah, yeah, he's very kind, very caring. You come and ask me for 10 Ghana. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a very good person. Yeah. And people don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the reason people don't know, well, is because People are very judgmental, mm -hmm. and we judge a book by the cover. Yes. You know, so a well t shirt to say, wish a helmet. Now, Hey, please, No, just asking. No, we don't. No, ask for proof. I won't, I, won't, I won't ask for evidence. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's true. Unshe. Oh, wow, wow. Do you know the funny thing? He told me once he was going through the airport in Romania yeah. and he was called aside to be checked. Yeah. Not holding in, you are not holding any bag. Mm -hmm. You just had one bag which you put on the mm -hmm. what's that thing called? And then they asked him to take his wrap off. And what mm -hmm. did the guy say after he saw? I don't remember what he said, but I me, mean, I just nakeded myself in the, <laughs> the airport, right? at the airport. Yeah. The, the room that like they detain people, right? I didn't right? say anything. He was confused. You're just confused. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was carrying something under, like, under the my food. Yeah. Maybe some people will line some cookie yeah. here or something. So I just removed or standing there like that. <laughs> 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 that was like, yeah. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, you know, you judge a book by the cover. So when they see you, you know, and you don't wear the shoes, you are so non-conventional. Mm. They start judging you. Mm. Um, does it bother you or you don't, or that's their problem? Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's, I've, I've been doing this for some time now, so yeah. I, I don't feel you any, don't, yeah, yeah, I don't really. No, I, I think, but strangely, now people have come to accept you. Yes. You yes. know, if I see you wearing a suit, I walk past you. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, that was one of those, uh, one of them. So yeah. my college is, you know, I had only one of, you know, so I've come to yeah. accept you. 
Yeah. But we're, it's going to get much, much fun. Let me take a commercial break. When we come back, the show will continue. Stick around, folks. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show.